think about the triple bottom line, the, the planet, environment, the social aspects, the economic aspects, and purchasing, and, and picking any level of that and, and moving forward and bringing sustainable procurement when they do purchases. So if you're serious about sustainability and if you want to deliver sustainable product services to your customers, then you need to deliver them through your supply chain. In order to do that, you need a standard to help you. Business and suppliers really need a consistent roadmap. Uh, the social responsibility ISO provides some very uh, high level guidelines and as a procurement practitioner and any organisation you need some kind of basis in which to start. Uh, a lot of people were asking uh, uh, this kind of guidance when we uh, suggested it and especially in the procurement function, procurement world. If we look at the content of the standard it's about principles, principles for sustainable procurement it's about uh, subjects and what subjects to talk about and not to talk about. It's about category analysis. It's about organizing the process for, for buyers on, on when and how to um, um, ask questions on sustainability. Uh, any international standard that is credible needs uh, to have been produced through a credible process. And the ISO process is uh, rather credible because it's based on an open, transparent and consensus-based uh, uh, approach. The process to create an ISO standard is a very long one uh, and it feels very bureaucratic and quite tedious, but actually it works. ISO attempts to, to standardise the process of sustainable procurement, also allowing companies to, to benchmark uh, themselves against the standard. It will really help those people involved in the procurement process to take the right decisions when dealing with sustainability. It's important to people, right? I have two daughters. Um, we need to do better. Um, you know, we're, we're not doing well. I think the, the future is quite exciting for procurement people.